we had the World Championship Bench Show, and those dogs qualify at the same qualifiers all around the country throughout the year to enter the World Championship. And now that is a three round event. So the first round, all the males show against the males of their breed first in round one. And then the same thing with the females show against other females of their breed in round one. You have one male winner in each breed and one female. So in round two, we have seven different breeds of coon hounds and uh, those seven male winners show against each other. Uh, round two, the judge picks one of those dogs. Same thing with the female, That's uh, that leaves us with two dogs, a male and a female. They, they go into the third and final round at the World Show. And you have a crowd inside watching it, everybody's talking, you know. And, but when it gets down to the finals, round two, and then round three, you can hear the cricket in the corner. I heard some cricket was treed back there in the corner of the headquarters building somewhere. And you could hear that thing, but that's how quiet it is in there, you know. And it's a big deal, a tense little round. And one or the other, uh, the judge will pick one to be the world champion and the other one to be the opposite sex. These, these are absolutely seven beautiful dogs. So I, I've got to pick one. And when you're looking at a dog, or when I'm looking at a dog, you, you look at the important parts first. And the important parts for any animal that is a working animal has to be the bottom structure and then it's like building a house you got to have a top to it to fall in before long and then you look at the chest and those are the three things that are really really important uh, to a dog and, and the dog that i have to pick today with the chest the, the, the structure and, and everything that i really like in a dog is a black and tan dog Congratulations, Today it came down to a black and tan out of North Carolina. The male winner, a dog owned by Shane and Lisa Bettingfield. Uh, they've been showing dogs for a lot of years. It was good to see them get to that point. The female winner, her overall breed winner, was a Treen Walker, and it was a seven-year-old, either six or seven-year-old Treen Walker that has won a lot throughout the years, but it just has not won this world show before. Uh, Megan Perez owns a dog out of Missouri, her, her husband, Dan, and Megan is just an excellent dog person, handling dogs, getting them ready for shows. You know, you, you see her dogs, she has them tip-top shape and handles well. They know how to show. 1987, 88, uh, UKC has to turn off the association and all these folks have been up raising their big standards. I'm sitting on a committee of 10 people plus two writers, a ton of us to write. And I just wish there's four of us still living. I wish the other six could see how close these animal breeders have come to the dogs that are here today. And, and I'll, I'll from a six year said, but in all great these dogs are getting pretty close to perfect. I've just nine different world championships and either one of these dogs could win any of them and I can find a reason to read one or two of them. As I said in the start, when you examine a dog on the bench, you can really see what you got. How many legs, you know, how hard are they before some of these great animals get them set up and set up straight. But today I have to pick one. I love them both. Walker Dog's the winner. The 2020 World Champion Grand Champion PR All American Dream Girl. Congratulations to the winner, Megan Perez. Congratulations also to Lisa and Ben Steele with Opposite Sex Winner. Champion PR Melrose Line. Megan Perez, she ended up getting the nod today in the World Championship with a very nice and deserving dog.